I was really shy, you know, growing up. I feel like I've grown more confident within myself and art has really helped me through that. My mum always, you know, used to say to me, you don't just represent one side of yourself. You should be proud of who you are, um, your identity, you know, your origins, you know, where you come from. When I first started, you know, doing these works, it was just me exploring, like, my culture, you know, my sexuality, you know, and then the histories behind that as well. I'm a proud Yui man from Mackay up in North Queensland. I'm also Torres Strait Islander, where my family come from, Darnley Island, and I'm also South Sea Islander. One of my references for my art is anime and comic books, just using those you know, vibrant colours, but also putting in colours of like ochre and land, you know, just making that reference back to home and where I'm from. I do a lot of like native plants and just doing my traditional designs from where I'm from. So these patterns are from like Yui country, you know, Mackay, North Queensland. I've researched that they're influenced by the landscapes around us as well and the plants, you know, the sky and the sea. It's very important, you know, to keep those stories alive and intertwining them and connecting them, you know, with my, I guess, identity and my sexuality as well. One of the works that is, I guess, very popular is called Stuck On You. It's part of my queer series. It's like two queer indigenous men and one's like holding the other man from behind. I think it's gotten a lot of attention because, you know, it was one of like the very first um, works that I ever put out there. I'd like to draw my friends, just base these characters off people that are in my life. I'll draw myself as well. It gives my work that, I guess, sincerity and honesty when it's just coming straight from my lived experiences. When I first start my digital works, I draw the outline first, you know, make sure everything's right. Like I'll zoom in and just check everything. And then like, you know, when I'm um, happy with that, I move on to uh, the, skin t the skin tones. So um, this is what it looks like when I add the skin color in and everything. And then adding in all the other details like the hair, you know, eyebrows, the eye color. And then um, after that, I just add in all the other details as well. Yeah, just different things to help the work, I guess, pop, pop more. If I was doing my works on paper, you know, it would take more time and, you know, I'd have to go back and keep fixing it. You know, rubbing out the paper because, you know, I'm always getting the paper dirty. So you don't have to worry about all the smudges and, um, you know, all of those things that come with it. I love it. It's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Just be, yeah, just being able to work at that speed. All my work's up on Instagram and, and Facebook as well. Instagram actually shared my work, so that was a big thing for me. And I guess and having all these other organisations and other people share my works have, has really helped me, I guess, gain traction. Yeah, I never thought, yeah, my work would have this much impact. I've also gotten messages from like the UK, US, you know, just talking about how I guess my work has, you know, inspired these people, you know, the stories they tell me about, uh, I guess, their, their lives and, um, you know, what they're going through, whether it be, you know, good or bad, um, yeah, it's pretty special. My works talk about empowerment, you know, resilience, thriving. I think, you know, when you do put these messages out there, you will get that back in return. And I guess, you know, people can relate to these works. So I think that's where all the positivity comes from. Yeah, I'm terrible with um, getting compliments from people. So I just say, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, um, I'm still a bit shy, you know, when it comes to all these things. <laughs>